The first step in converting my Jazzy 600 wheelchair base into an animatronics and robotics platform was to remove the electric brakes from the motors. I'm going to show you exactly how quick and easy of a process that is. One note, removing the brakes made the original joystick inoperative, but did still allow me to use the charging system. Well, first let's take a look at the tools I needed for my motor. Of course, other models may require a few different tools. All I needed was a two, a two and a half, and a three millimeter hex wrench, a couple of screwdrivers, a pair of wire cutters, and a three quarter inch box wrench. The process did not require me to remove the motors off the wheelchair, so I started by taking the two screws off the cap, which allowed it to simply slide off. It did require an offset screwdriver for me to get to the back screws. After removing the cover, I took the two millimeter wrench and we removed the three screws on the faceplate. I'd originally thought about showing this process in real time so you could see exactly how long it took me, but it was frightfully boring, so I've cut some of that out. Take the three screws off with the spacer, which then allows you to get to the pad. It took a little bit of help from a screwdriver, but it popped right off. I then took the three quarter inch box wrench to hold the locking nut and the two and a half millimeter hex head wrench to loosen the screw on the shaft. Be careful here to hold on to that front plate because the spring comes with a lot of tension and it can really fly when you remove the screw. Next, using the three millimeter hex wrench, remove the two screws on the side of the magnet. This allows the magnet to slide right off of the shaft. I'll have to figure out a use for those in another project. I cut the wires close to the connectors in case I ever wanted to reinstall the brakes and make this a wheelchair again. I put one of the screws back in so that I could wire tie those wires to make sure that they stayed out of the way of the shaft. Then it simply was a matter of replacing the cap and reinstalling the two cover plate screws. All in all, the job was done in less than five and a half minutes for each side. Now on to the next step of the process. Stay tuned. If you want to see more content just like this, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon before you go. So until next time, keep on building.